What's goody YTBC? What's good fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B. Marsh with another boxing video. So the man Richard Schaefer is going to debut his Ring Star Promotions. And he's going to debut that card on um, December, um, um, when is it? Uh, December 10th with the card featuring um, J-Rock Williams challenging himself against the IBF um, super... Um, Super welterweight champion, that's 154 pounds, Jamel Charlo, you know what I mean? Or is it Jamal? Jamel and Jamal, I think this is Jamal Charlo, okay? And this is a fight we've been waiting for for a while, man. This fight was supposed to happen in September, but we finally going to get it in De uh, December 10th, and that's good news, you know what I mean? And this will be the debut of uh, Richard Schaefer's uh, promotional company. The man hasn't been in a boxing ring promoting since... Um, uh, sometime in 2014, you know what I mean, when he was last with Golden Boy before him and Al Heyman departed from um, from um, the man um, Oscar De La Hoya because, you know, De La Hoya wasn't handling his business. He was in and out of rehab. He was, he was, he was a trans, trans, transgender wearing um, women's clothes. So, you know, I guess uh, uh, Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer were like, man, we can't do business with this guy, man. This guy would rather um, jump off the skis with no jump off ski ski cliffs with no skis, you know what I mean? Nose diving rather than handle business, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the man, um, uh, Jamal Charlo, you know, he'll be putting up his belt against um, this young, hungry um, contender in J-Rock Williams from Philadelphia, you know what I mean? Both guys are undefeated, and this is a fight that's a long time coming, man, and it's, um, I'm glad we finally going to get this fight, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, I haven't made my prediction yet, and soon will come, you know what I mean? It will soon come, and uh, I just want to say that, you know, I'm glad that these two young brothers going to be stepping into the ring, you know what I mean? For a little bit, I almost lost faith in this fight happening because, uh, like I said, it was supposed to happen in September, and we already in uh, October, and um, we're just hearing about the news that this fight will be held um, at the, uh, on the USC campus, University of Southern California. You know where O.J. Simpson went, where O.J. Mayo went, where, um, what's the name, Reggie Miller's sister, Lisa Leslie. Not Lisa Leslie. Uh, what the hell is it? Cheryl Miller, you know what I mean? Uh, these are the type of uh, athletes that came out of that, and DeMar DeRozan that came out of USC. This will be at the USC campus, you know what I mean? And um, also on that card, we're going to have um, a fight between, what's his name? The man, um, Abner Myers, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Abner Myers finally going to be getting back in the ring after he fought, uh, what's his name? Leo Santa Cruz, you know what I'm saying? Um, the man, Abner Myers, you know, the guys, uh, I don't understand, like I said, why, why this man, Abner Myers, is even getting a title shot, you know what I mean? Even though it's going to be for the regular title. Regular WBA title versus um, uh, Jesus Cuela, the guy from Argentina, Argentina who packs a serious punch in his in in his arsenal. You know what I mean? He's a definitely a knockout artist. You know what I'm saying? Abner Maris, you know, whenever I see Abner Maris, I get mad. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Abner Maris. I was elated what Johnny Gonzalez did to him in one round. You know what I'm saying? Because. In my opinion, the guy Abner Maris is a guy who's uh, yeah, he's a three way world champion. I bet a lot of people can't even tell me who the hell he beat to win them three world titles. You know what I mean? I could only think of two people right now. Um, I remember he beat. Ah, uh, whenever I think of that fight, I get vexed, man. He fought um your man Joseph Agbeko, and he punched that man about twenty plus times in the ring and plenty. 20 plus times in the Bozak, straight up and down, hit him in the nuts all day and all night. I don't even know if the man, Joseph Agbeko, will be able to have kids ever again, man. That was just terrible, you know. The man, Abner Myers, did the same thing to, to Victor Chinian, you know what I'm saying? Hitting him with low blows, hitting him under the nuts, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't do that to, Abner, um, to Leo Santa Cruz, you know what I mean? Because this guy can't win a fight without throwing low blows, you know. So I'm not a fan of Abner Myers, and I already made a duck sauce video for him. Y'all could check it out on my ducks Ducktail series. The man been ducking um some Piwe Vitiaka, you know what I'm saying? And I could even say Jesus Quayle has been ducking some Piwe Vitiaka too, you know what I'm saying? Because you know some Piwe Vitiaka has been the number one challenger, mandatory position. For <clears throat> For that WBA super featherweight strap, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's only right that St. Pierre Vitieka should get a, t 
a title shot against Abnamaris or Jesus Cuela. And on the real, in, in my opinion, um, I would pick Superior Vitieca to beat both guys. You know what I'm saying? I would pick him to beat um, Jesus Cuela and the man Abnamaris. You know, even though I, I'd give Jesus Cuela a better shot at beating the man Superior Vitieca. You know what I mean? You check it. So this is going to be a great card on December 10th. And this will be on PBC, ladies and gents. PBC, you know, a lot of people thought that PBC wouldn't have any more shows and they're going down under, man. they sinking, you know what I'm saying? They need a lifeline. But nah, Richard Schaefer's going to be putting on his um, ring star promotions. And to me, when Richard Schaefer's in the mix of boxing, that's when the best boxing fights were made, man. Golden Boy used to be on fire when the man Richard Schaefer was running the day-to-day -day -day operations, you know what I'm saying, while that man Oscar De La Hoya was in, um, the, in rehab, you know what I mean? You check it. So I think this fight right here between um, Jesus Cuela and Abner Maris is a beautiful fight to uh, to be on the undercard of that um, J-Rock Williams and um, and uh, Jamel Charlo, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a good fight right here. And all I can say is uh, thank you, Al Heyman, you know what I mean? HBO is trying to get a December 10th date, you know. You know, in December, if you guys haven't noticed, man, every December, uh, HBO and Showtime, they're always going to have cars competing against each other on one particular Saturday in December, you know what I mean? So on this particular night, I think on December 10th, HBO is trying to put on, um, because Canelo, Canelo is uh, injured, right? He's not fighting for the, and they were trying to give him that December 10th date. That Triple G and Danny Jacobs fight look like it ain't happening on December 10th, okay? So um, they're trying to get the man now, uh, Bud Crawford. Um, Terrence Crawford might be fighting on that December 10th date. And depending on who he's fighting, uh, I'm going to be more paying attention to this card right here that's going to be on PBC, you know what I mean? Because um, they, 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 uh, Bud Crawford, I'm sure, won't be fighting nobody like uh, Trudonowski or something like that. He won't be in a, um, it won't be a, 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 a what you call it, um, um, a unification fight, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to be definitely paying attention to um, Richard Schaefer's um, debut, you know what I'm saying, that um, um, his debut at um, Ring, uh, Ring Star Promotions and on um, PBC, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I was saying, who has um, the man, Richard, who has um, the man, um, the man, uh, what's his name? Abner Maris really beat, you know. I was going to say, yeah, Joseph Agbeko, he that's one title he won, I believe, IBF, um, what was that? I was, think that was at Bantamweight, you know what I'm saying? He won a 122 title from somebody I can't quite remember. And I know he won a WBC featherweight title from the man uh, Ponce de Leon, you know what I'm saying? And then he, um, the man Abner Maris lost that, that title in his first defense against Johnny Gonzalez. Johnny Gonzalez sparked him out. He dropped him twice, and it was a wrap, you know what I mean? So I think this is going to be a good card by Ring Star Promotions, PBC. Thank you, Al Heyman. And we'll see what it do, man. December is going to be lit. November's going to be lit. And I'm just glad we're going to have some boxing, man, because, you know, the state of boxing right now, especially in the heavyweight division, man, it's it's really a letdown, you know what I mean? It's really letting people down that a lot of fights can't be made, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section what you think, and I'll check y'all on the next video. Be Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. And let me know who you guys think going to win between this uh, J-Rock and Jamel Charlo and Abner Mares versus Jesus Cuela. And uh, let me and um and I and I just want to reiterate, um, Jesus Cuela and the man, uh, especially Abdemaris, they've been ducking my man Simpiwa Vitiaka, you know what I'm saying, from South Africa. So yeah, check me out on my video if you like the content, hit that thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe. Be Marsh Boxing, thanks for listening. Peace.